Well, he's a big dog, the president <laughs> of the St. Louis yeah. Sports Commission. Frank, welcome to the show. It's great to be here. Uh, I know you get referred to as the big dog. <laughs> <laughs> big cheese, big that kahuna. Maybe the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Tell us about uh, the St. Louis Sports Commission and the kind of work that you do. Well, the St. Louis Sports Commission uh, is the organization that works to make St. Louis a better place to live, visit, work, and play through sports. Uh, we're a nonprofit civic organization in St. Louis. Um, we do major events, bring them to the city for the uh, benefit of our fans as well as for the benefit of the economy. We also have a affiliated youth foundation that focuses on promoting good sportsmanship and helping kids lead happier healthier lives through sports great mission i know you're doing all sorts of new initiatives here in st louis i heard about uh, d1 wrestling coming to yes st. Louis. we had uh, we had the ncaa the collegiate wrestling championships in st louis a couple weeks ago and uh, it's the eighth time the championships were in st louis uh, twenty thousand fans come from out of town it's a it's a wonderful sport. We talk about the, you know, the parallels between some of the sports that we do in, in chess. You know, the chess is a, uh, is a very new sport compared... It's intellectual wrestling as well. It's intellectual <laughs> wrestling, but, you know, chess is only about 2,000 years old, <laughs> and wrestling goes back 15,000 years. They call it the world's oldest and greatest sport. Absolutely fabulous. What is the economic impact of having something like the chess championships and the Singfield Cup and all the great chess events that are happening I, here in St. Louis. I love to answer that question but because the question is usually asked narrowly, but I like to answer the question broadly. So, so if, if we were to say the economic impact is a million dollars, I think that really undersells the, the actual impact of the event but because you have to figure in not, not just how much do visitors spend, uh, but but how much how much value is there for the publicity? Uh, how much value is is there for the intangibles that come along with the prestige of hosting an event like the chess championships or like the wrestling championships? Or uh, for example, we're hosting the uh, NCAA Collegiate uh, Gymnastics Championships uh, next weekend here in St. Louis. So we'll have 12 uh, universities competing for that championship. We should call St. Louis Championship City. Uh, that's what Rex always says, and yeah. he tells me I need to move to St. Louis <laughs> because of that. Uh, any other new initiatives we should be looking for? I know baseball has started. I know this is cards country. Exactly. Uh, what else is going to be happening well, other than what you mentioned? Well, we're bringing, uh, we, we like to bring a variety of sports uh, to the region, and, and so later this summer, uh, IndyCar racing comes back to St. Louis. Uh, next spring, we will bring the uh, Southeastern Conference men's basketball tournament to St. Louis, University of Missouri, University of Kentucky, and, and so on. Uh, next summer, we'll be hosting the uh, 100th anniversary of the PGA Golf Championship. And, uh, you know, that fits in around hockey and the Stanley Cup playoffs and, and baseball, we always hope, for the uh, playoffs in October. So it's a, it's a, it's a bustling sports scene in, in our region, and uh, uh, we're happy to promote sports at every turn. So how much more are you going to support some chess? I, mean, I want to hear about well, your, we, your big chess initiatives. We love, we love chess, and uh, we actually did two spots uh, on chess uh, at our wrestling championships. We have a, uh, a host who goes around town and, and films these spots to show off St. Louis to our visiting uh, fans. And we, we did two of them here at the Chess Museum. So that was a lot of fun and, and gives us an opportunity to connect the initiatives that we're working on. Fantastic. Great work you're doing with the Sports Commission. And thanks very much for supporting Chess in St. Louis. It's, we love it. Thank you. Frank Favorito, the big dog. <laughs> Make sure you put that at home. Like, <laughs> right right at the front door where they walk in. Great. That'll go over well. <laughs>